Hello, this is Mike with Tradewinds RV Center. Here to congratulate you on your Flagstaff SE 206 STSE pop-up tent camper. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A few things to take into consideration when you're parking this thing. Uh, you're gonna wanna leave room for your awning to come out on your campsite. You're gonna wanna leave room for your beds on each end. Then I want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. Power cord is going to plug in just above your tire, as well as your water at campsites. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Get you a good spot. Once you arrive and unhook our hitch, first thing we're going to do is level our unit. Our unit comes with a hand crank. Right will bring it up, left will bring it down. So just throw a level on here somewhere. Crank that until you're level. Once you're level, we're gonna go ahead and stabilize it. So up here in your storage here. We're gonna get your hand crank down there. Also accessible from this side door. Now before I bring these down, I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads will protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt, and debris, and hot blacktop in the summer. Um, good investment. Use your 10% off coupon, grab a four pack of them, put them down underneath these. Now you can use an impact driver, a drill gun. Not really necessary unless you're in a super hurry and it's hot out here. If you do, I recommend slowing down when you get to the bottom. Because remember, our unit's already level, all we're doing at this point is stabilizing it. So run these down just until you have some resistance on your hand crank. It's a little taunt. We're stable. Run all four of them down. Got your unit level and stable. Let's hook up your power and water. We'll start with our power. We're going to dig my power cord out. All right, so our power cord was in storage up front as well. Got these pistol grip power cords. The way they go in now is they'll go in at about 11 o'clock, turn it to noon, put your washer on, you're all set. Now, um, at the end of that 30 amp cord, should you need to plug into a 110, there's a 30 to 15 amp reducer that'll be in your convenience pack. Next thing we're gonna do is plug in our AC unit. Now, this is plugged into your AC unit inside. So gently pull this out. Don't yank it out. Otherwise, it'll come unplugged from your unit in there. I'm going to come up here and plug this in. Now, there's your power for your AC. Now we're going to walk along and go ahead and open up our top. So four of these latches done. That's all set up to go up. Get your power hooked up. We're gonna wait to hook up our water until after we get our unit open and we can get to our sink. So real quick before opening the unit up, I'm gonna walk you around it. Starting up here in the front, our hot water heater. We'll go over that when I hook up our water. An outdoor shower. You do have a spray port hose right there that will hook onto that. A low point drain for that. Underneath here, there's gonna be a freshwater low point drain. There's our freshwater tank. This is the flue for your furnace, a couple things on that. One, make sure it's never blocked. If you are running your furnace to your clear, but it does get hot. Again, our AC cord power cord, city water connection, cable from campsite, put a TV in here, stabilize the jack, spare tire, with a nice cover, keep that on there, keeps it from dry rotting. Uh, get up here now and then, a few times a year, check the seams of your roof, and caulk as needed with recommended RV roofing caulk. The truly manual awning, this is a lip that your griddle and grill will hook on to. Here's your quick connect LP cord for that. Or hose, excuse me. An outdoor speaker. Nice porch light. 
your antenna for your sound system. A couple of 110s here. Again, access panel. You could take that rolling foot off and put this solid foot on. Our hand crank, another table that you can put on that lip down there. In this access here, you do have a side access panel to your hot water heater. But I wanted to leave this off here and show you your hot water heater here. Um, by taking that top off, it's easier to get to instead of coming through the side door. And this is where you will bypass your hot water heater for winterizing. Turning back to the hot water heater for standard use. All right, that about covers everything on that. Let's go ahead and open up the unit. Made sure all four of our uh, hooks here, excuse me, latches are on hook, and we're gonna hit up. Now, as this comes up, you're gonna see a little green wire over here to the right. We're gonna keep an eye on that. We're gonna run this up until that wire is taut. Can be our visual guide for helping us get this up to where it needs to be. Give it one little, one little small one. Got this where I can pluck it like a piano. That's all set. Now let's go ahead and before setting this up here, I want you to see these slots. This is what we're going to put our feet into. Let's get up inside our unit and pull out our safety brackets to begin with. We have two of these. One has a curved end, one has a square end. We're going to take the curved end, angled end, tuck it up underneath there, put my flat end here. There we go. We're going to get that under nice and tight. Kind of hard to do one handed here. There we go. So, whatever corner you put that in, I put that in our campsite rear. I'm gonna go off campsite front for the other one. So whatever corner you put the one in, just go kitty corner for the other. Get up in there. Get a two-handed job. But, we got that up in there. Safety brackets are in. Now we can go ahead. Take a look at our brackets here. We're going to have two shorts and two longs. Our two longs are going to go front. Let me just bring one out at a time here. Again, an angled end, a square end. For our square end up here, Angled in down here. There we go. Get the other one on. And these are going to be the brackets for our front bunks. And actually, before bringing the front bunks out, I'll talk about a few other things that we'll be covering up on the front of the unit. Propane does come with a cover, uh, regulator on it, lefty loosey to open those. Battery post, check them every now and then, make sure nothing's wiggled loose over time. This is your battery disconnect, that would disconnect all the battery power to the unit. That'll come important later when I talk about your carbon monoxide propane detector. Easiest way to tell which way is on and off. Off, you can actually pull this out. And turn your battery on. It's actually stuck in there. Again, our power for our winch. And let's go ahead and grab our bed and pull it out of here. Ah, hard to get a hold of one hand here, but let's see what we can do. I'm actually going to lower these bars down to the bottom one. Make 
make this a little easier to come out there we go and as you see as it comes out you've got these little metal bars here that's going to lock that out here that's what you want on our corners you pull this fabric over the corner and snap this in that is going to protect it and then you're going to go along and velcro and then lastly after velcroing take this string and tie it across to the other side fold these corners down again down here same snap protect our corners velcro Now hook these ends up. And then the last thing you do on each one of these sides is to bring the zipper down. Pull your cams over. That's how your ends are going to hook up before we go inside and push them out. Let me pull the other end out. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this door off here. This will literally lift right up off here. I'm going to come back up underneath the back here. Got a couple of hinges up there to slide these into. Flip this up. Bungee on there. That's how that door stores. Going up inside the unit real quick. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. This is going to be our light to turn everything on in here. Right there. So we're going to grab and lift. Set this up. Set this up. Down onto everything. So as this is coming up, you got to kind of push on, lift up on these latches here. that will allow that to sit in there well. All right, so now, remember, front is longer than the rear, so we're going to grab the long bar. Put it over top of this netting. And we're looking to get into the middle of this slot. Lift it up, and I'll show you here. The objective is to get that to line up in the middle like that. Start pushing this out. And because this is a sh like a shepherd's hook, you want this end up. So what we're going to do is with two hands. Push that forward and hook it in. Same thing on the other end. Uh, this is a table extension. I'm going to move that. There's our griddle and legs for the outdoor griddle. We'll repeat the same process down here. Put the visual there. There we go. That one went in easy with one hand. Then we just set our um, backs up here. Turn all this into a seating area. Lastly, lift this one up. The table will stand up. Um, of course, put it down for travel. Go ahead and walk around the unit now. So here, can be our griddle area you will light this with a stick lighter turn it to light and then light it make sure your gas is on up front be careful putting this down you don't bend anything the hinges can be kind of weak at times below that this is going to be your heat release from this furnace right over here crank that up one time there that is now you're going to see i'm going to shut that furnace off it's going to take a few for that to actually shut off for uh it'll run through a cycle before it actually shuts off 
Fridge is right here, just controls over here. Again, a thermostat. Here's where you can turn on your water heater. One tenth here. Storage here. Coming in the door is going to be your fire extinguisher. Make sure you and everyone that's camping with you knows where that's at in case of an emergency. 110 charging port sound system. Go to AM FM. So you get a channel to come in, in here. There we go. So outdoor. Or indoor. Or both. So a really nice sound system here. Toucher wants to mute it, hold it in to shut it off. Ceiling lights. Awning lights. Uh, wi Fi. I'm going to send you a video from Forest Ranger on how to use this Wi Fi Ranger. It's a very cool system. That's where you turn that on at. Coming inside, cable here in case you want to set a TV in here. To the right, this is your solar controller panel. Whole purpose of this panel is to keep your solar panel up top from overcharging your batteries. Here's your inverter in case you're out boondocking, you need to use that. Here's where you can turn on your water pump if you're using fresh water. And below that is your carbon monoxide propane detector. This is 12 volt. Reason I mention that, it's always running off your battery. So if you are out dry camping, boondocking somewhere, uh, nothing plugged in charging your battery, Use that battery disconnect up front to keep this from uh, running your battery down if you're going to be gone all day. Out hiking and whatnot. Alright, I in the ceiling, our AC unit. Turn that on through up here. Uh, high cool. Make sure that's plugged in. Yeah, so that it just come unplugged outside. So there's your high fan, low cool, high cool. Quick dumps on your ends. Take that off. Oh, uh, smoke alarm. You have a hand crank open power exhaust vent over here. Four different speeds on that. If it ever stops working, there's access to a fuse there. It covers everything in here. Act like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up. Oh, I do have to show you how to bring this door down. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to start by bringing, taking these snaps off. And then releasing this from here. This is going to lift up and fall down. As that comes down, these wires are going to guide this door all the way up to the door. And then we're going to attach it. I'm going to attempt to do this. See how you can see it from there. Show you my objective in here. I'm trying to get these in and turned. So what we're trying to do is get all four of these turned, locking that in. But you're gonna have to come up, up and underneath these. If it's tight, go hit your wench just a fraction to get this up high enough you can get that in. Once you get them locked, then we are going to put on our Velcro. Indoors and out. Your Velcro is really going to be your main.
source of holding this door where it needs to be. Indoors and outdoors. And there's our entry doorway. All right, we're gonna reverse the process to put it back up. And then we're gonna bring this whole thing back down by reversing a lot of things. So let's start by putting this door away. Let's see if this will let you watch me from here. Go get our door. On bungee, slide that back off. Slide these back on. All right, now we're gonna release our arms. Simply by kind of pushing a little bit, it unhooks it. Make sure everything's nice and flat. Bring our kitchen top back down. Again, make sure you touch these releases. Off the floor. Let's see, and there's ready to go. Next thing we're gonna do is remove our safety bars. Both safety bars are removed. We'll remove these rear legs simply by lifting up with your shoulder and pulling this right up out of there. If you decide to push the bed back in with these on here, you gotta make sure that you push this up and over top of the bar. Same thing on the other end, let's release these real quick. All right, so we've moved all of our bars, pushed our ends in, time to bring this thing down. I can bring it about halfway. So about halfway, I'm gonna go around and start tucking fabric in. Try to get up there in there as smooth as you can. This helps it compact better. So again, we're just Tucking our fabric away. Let's so we can get it up in there. Then you bring it down. Walk around, continue doing this. Alright, once we've done our last wenching down, we'll go around. 
hook these back up. All four of them. Get all them hooked up. Unhook your AC. Tuck that cord away. We're out dry camping. We're gonna get up underneath there and open up this freshwater tank right here. Another low point drain here. As well as right there. Unhook your power, your water cable. If you're done camping for the year, don't want to leave stagnant water in your hot water heater. We're going to come over here, lift up on this pressure release valve. I'll be careful, it's going to dump hot water out of there. When that's done, push that back in, otherwise your door won't go back on. And then pull that drain plug for your residual hot water. Get all your draining done, hook up your hitch and head on home. Again, hope you guys enjoy this Flagstaff for many years to come. Happy camping.